Welcome to the video on how to do a tool center point, or a TCP for short, on a CRX Cobot. Now the reason you would need a new tool center point is because maybe you changed your torch and now you have a different torch angle, or somehow your current tool center point got erased from your Cobot, right? Now, to do a tool center point, you're gonna need an object with a, a tip, a sharp point at the top, that you can keep stationary. So I'm using the torch make block that we do have for purchase here at Lincoln Electric and I have a magnet underneath to keep it from moving, all right? Now you wanna have your uh, contact and work distance as relevant as you can to the parts that you're running. I'm using a five inch stick out, five inch and three quarter inch are some of the most common used stick out pieces, okay? So, to a center point will need to be done in legacy mode, please refer back to the video of how to get to legacy mode in the training videos. First thing you wanna do is hit menu, you're gonna hit number six setup. Once there, you're gonna hit F1 type, then you're gonna hit number six, frames. That'll take you to this tool frame menu that you see in front of you. Now, you wanna to go to any line that doesn't have any data recorded in it. I'm gonna be using number four. So I'm gonna hit F2, detail. Then I'm gonna hit F2, method. Then I'm gonna hit number two, XC. Okay? Now. I'm going to be jogging my robot to get my robot down to my torch main block. So I have it in Cartesian and jog mode. All right, you want to have your torch as straight up and down as you possibly can. So you're going to use the tool frame coordinates to get your robot down. What you want to do is have the tip of your wire actually touching the top of the object that you're using to record your points. Once you get a little bit closer, you want to slow your robot down so you don't bend your wire or move your object out of place. Okay, once your wire is touching, you're gonna cursor it down to the orient origin point. Here, you're gonna hold the shift key and hold F5 at the same time until you see your point has been recorded. We're also gonna re record or approach point one in the same position. Do not move the robot. So you will have two points recorded at the same position. The next point we're gonna record is our X direction point. To do that, we're gonna move our J1 under position, X plus, you're gonna move that at least 10 inches. Okay. Once you think you got the distance required, you're gonna hold shift F5 again and record the X direction point. Cursor up to the orient origin point, hold shift and F4, move to, and that'll take you back to your orient origin point. Next point we're gonna record is our Z direction point. So now we're gonna hold Z plus, at least 10 inches. Same thing, you're gonna hold shift and hold F5 to record that point. Next point we're gonna do is you're gonna move to orient origin point, shift F4. Next, next thing we're gonna do is the approach point two. So you're gonna do Z up in the positive direction to clear the part that you're recording with. You wanna switch from Cartesian to joint. Okay, now here you're gonna rotate around your J6 axis at least 90 degrees. Okay, now you're gonna switch from joint back to Cartesian and line up the tip of that wire with the tip of the object you will use. Once you get the wire there, you're gonna hold shift F5 over the pulse point two. Again. Now you wanna Z up to clear your part. Cursor down to orient origin point and hit shift F4. All right, 
our last approach point. We're going to do Z plus again, period apart. Then we're going to rotate J4, so X plus in the orientation. Okay. Same thing. Once you get the rotation required, we're going to move that down. With the wire touching that object. Now when you hit Shift F5 this time, you're going to see that your tool center point data has been populated. Now you're going to clear that port, we're going to Z up again, cursor down on orient origin point, you hit Shift F4. The wire should still be at the tip of that object you're using. Now to activate the tool frame that you just created, you're gonna hit previous. So I just created number four. So I'm gonna hit F5, set IND. I'm gonna hit four, hit enter. You're gonna hit whatever tool frame number that you just recorded, right? So the way to check that your tool center point is good, you're gonna hit over operation, you're gonna change it from world to tool. So you're gonna rotate around your J6 axis. All right, you want to make sure your robot is not moving the tip of your wire should still be intact to the top of that point. Another way you can check it is go back to Cartesian and rotate around your X and Y in orientation. Okay. Wire should be in the same place. That's how you record a tool center point on a CRX robot.